In this video, we're going to talk about electrophilic addition and electrophile elimination. In electrophilic addition, we are reacting with a carbon-carbon pi bond and an electrophile. Electrophiles, as you recall, are electron poor or want electrons. So electrophiles are typically going to have a positive charge or have a very large delta plus. Let's follow the electrons in this generic reaction. The carbon-carbon pi electrons I have shown in blue are going to come and form a bond to our electrophile. That means on the right we'll have a carbon electrophile bond in blue. Blue electrons form a carbon electrophile bond. Let's look at some examples of electrophilic addition reactions. In this first example, we have a carbon-carbon triple bond reacting. So it doesn't have to be a double bond. It can be a pi bond from a triple bond. Let's add in arrows. I'm going to draw one of the carbon-carbon pi bonds in green. That bond is going to come and form a bond with a hydrogen. So our electron-rich pi bond is going to form a green bond to that blue hydrogen. So here's the pi bond forming a bond of the hydrogen. In this case, we have an electrophile that is HCl. The delta plus is the hydrogen end. And I'm going to draw that hydrogen chlorine bond in pink here. And that is going to form a lone pair on the chlorine. So the hydrogen chlorine bond became a lone pair on the chlorine. And we're going from electron rich to the electron poor end of our electrophile. Here's one more example. In this case, our nucleophile or electron-rich species is a benzene ring. We're going to look at this pi bond from the benzene ring, and I'll color that in green. And it's going to form a bond to this positively charged bromine here. So I'll draw the bond to the bromine there in green. So green electrons form a bond to the bromine. One of the key things to recognize in electrophilic addition is that we are going to have a reaction with something that has a huge delta plus, like an acid, or has a positive charge, like the Br plus species here, and the pi bond of a double bond or a triple bond is going to react. This is different from nucleophilic addition in that in nucleophilic addition we had something that was negatively charged attacking a double bond. Electrophile elimination is the opposite of electrophilic addition. In this case, we are going to kick out a species that is positively charged or has a large delta plus. Let's follow the electrons. The carbon electrophile bond, or imagine the E as being our leaving group, the carbon electrophile bond is going to break and that becomes a carbon-carbon pi bond. So blue electrons become a blue pi bond. This might look similar to the E2 reaction, but remember in the E2 reaction, we had a base reacting, and here we don't. We have a positively charged species. Here's another example of an electrophile elimination. In this case, our electrophile that's being formed is over here, H3O plus. A lone pair on the water here is forming a bond to that hydrogen and helping it to come off. So this oxygen lone pair becomes an oxygen hydrogen bond and the hydrogen carbon bond here becomes the carbon carbon pi bond. This is not to be confused with an E2 reaction because in an E2 reaction we have a leaving group in this one, we have a substrate with a positive charge. Also, in an E2 reaction, we usually are going to have a stronger base. Our electrophile is positively charged, and in an E2 reaction, we'd have a leaving group that has a negative charge on it. Here's another example of electrophilic elimination. In this case, our electron-rich species is AlCl4. The negative charge here is on the aluminum. Let's color this aluminum chlorine bond in green. 
this aluminum chlorine bond becomes the hydrogen chlorine bond here, the hydrogen carbon bond then becomes a pi bond. So the green electrons over here become the green electrons there, aluminum chlorine bond becomes hydrogen chlorine bond, and hydrogen carbon bond becomes a pi bond. Again, this is an electrophile elimination because we are forming an electrophilic species, HCl, which has a large delta plus on the hydrogen. Also, our starting material had a positive charge. As you're going through the electrophile elimination reaction, make sure that you can properly distinguish it from an E2 reaction, which uses a base and releases a leaving group and forms a carbon-carbon double bond. And you also want to be able to distinguish it from a nucleophile elimination, where we form a carbon-oxygen or carbon-nitrogen double bond. In this case, we form a carbon-carbon double bond, so that's how this differs from a nucleophile elimination.